Welcome to the Hospital Stay Survey Tutorial for Remark Office OMR version 10. This tutorial will quickly teach you how to use the basic software functions and how to easily navigate the software's user interface. In this tutorial, you will create the Hospital Stay Evaluation Form Template, process completed Hospital Stay Evaluation Forms, review and correct the data output, save the hospital stay evaluation data, and analyze the hospital stay evaluation data with Remark Quick Stats. The first step in this process is to create a form template outlining the areas of the form you want the software to recognize. If you aren't already running it, start Remark Office OMR. Begin a new form template by selecting the File menu and then clicking New Form Template. Alternatively, in the left-hand panel, known as the Task Pane, select New under the Templates tab. Either of these actions will open up a second window containing the Remark Office OMR Template Editor. If the Template Editor opens, but you do not see the Properties Form Template window, select the File menu and then click New Form Template. This window is where you describe your form to Remark Office OMR. You do this by entering basic information about your form, including the form template description, page size, and page orientation. Enter Hospital Stay Evaluation in the description box. Locate the page size area where you can tell your software the size paper your form uses. If not already listed, select US Letter in the Size drop-down list. Locate the Orientation area and select Portrait. Then click the Capture Image button to continue. The Create Page Elements window appears. This window allows you to either acquire an image of your form from your scanner, or acquire an image of your form from an existing image file. Each page in a form template is created using an image of the appropriate page in your form. The image allows you to see the form so that you can easily teach Remark Office OMR how to read it. In this demonstration, we will be acquiring our image from a pre-scanned image file stored on your computer. Click the Read Images button in the Image Collection method area. Click the Browse button. The Select Image File window opens. Select the Tutorial 2 Hospital Stay Survey.tiff file from the Tutorial 2 folder of your Remark Office OMR installation directory. Then click the Open button. Once an image is acquired by opening an existing image file, the template editor displays a thumbnail of the image for your approval. When a thumbnail image of your form appears, click the OK button to accept the image. Once the thumbnail image is accepted, the template editor opens a new form template where you can begin to define the regions. You will see a tree view on the left and an image representation of your form on the right. The purpose behind making a form template is to tell the software where to locate the information on your specific form and how to understand your specific data requirements. This table lists the six regions on the hospital stay evaluation form and their corresponding region types. The hospital name text is located in the upper left-hand corner of the form and is defined as an OCR region. Remark Office OMR reads the pre-printed text automatically so that the responses can be tied back to specific hospitals. Highlight the page 1 node on the left side of your screen if it isn't already highlighted. Select the Page menu, click Insert, 
and then click OCR region after selected page. Or click the OCR toolbar button. Alternatively, select the draw regions link in the task pane and then select insert OCR region. The mouse will now change to a crosshair. To create the OCR region, place the cursor just beyond the top left of the text and then press and hold the left mouse button while dragging the rectangle beyond the bottom right corner of the text, making sure you have selected the entire allotted space. Because text length may vary depending on the name of each hospital, capture a little extra space at the end of the text to accommodate the largest possible hospital name you might process. After positioning the box, release the mouse button and the properties window appears. This window allows you to define the region's properties by providing pertinent information about the OCR region. Type hospital in the region name box. The region name provides a brief description of the region and will become the name for this column in your data set. Set the OCR type to primary. Primary OCR works well in most cases and is the default setting. The following options should be set to their default settings. Data type is textual. We are collecting hospital names, which are textual. If we were to export our data once it is collected, the data type would be flagged as textual in the output file. Language should be English. Orientation should be left to right. The text on our form is oriented from left to right. Additionally, the OCR image preprocess options should all be unchecked. Mark the checkbox for a region contains more than one word. Each hospital name contains more than one word. Then click the OK button to return to the main template editor window. You will now see a purple box around the text in the image area identifying it as an OCR region, as well as a new node in the tree view titled Hospital. The hospital unit question contains two columns of bubbles separated by text. Therefore, we have to use the software's append linked region feature to link the second set of bubbles to the first set of bubbles. When linking regions that have text in the middle of them, you can create a region around the first set of bubbles and then link the second set to the first set. You cannot create one OMR region around bubbles that have text in between them. Highlight the hospital node by clicking it in the tree view if it isn't already highlighted. Select the region menu, click insert, and then click OMR region after selected region. Or click the OMR toolbar button or select the insert OMR link in the task pane. The mouse will now change to a crosshair. When defining an OMR region, include only the actual marks. Never include the nearby labels or text. Also, create approximately a 1 8 inch buffer space between the marks and the edge of the defined region. This buffer allows Remark Office OMR to accommodate minor shifting or skewing during form processing and decrease the number of data exceptions you need to clean in the resulting data. Place the cursor just to the top left of the bubble for cardiac, then press and hold the left mouse button while dragging the rectangle to the bottom right corner of the region, the bubble for maternity, making sure you have captured all three bubbles in the region. After positioning the box, release the mouse button. The Properties OMR Region window will appear. This window will allow you to enter information that will define the OMR region and the data it produces, including region definition, region layout, and possible responses. 
in the region definition area, enter hospital unit in the box titled region name. For the OMR type, select multiple. The multiple region designation is used for typical multiple choice style questions. For the data type, select textual. This region contains hospital unit names, so textual data is appropriate. In the region layout area to the right, select column for region orientation. Region orientation lets Remark Office OMR know how the region is structured on the form. For this question, the question's first set of answer choices is listed in one column. Ensure that one was entered in the columns in the region box and three in the rows in the region box. The region size lets Remark Office OMR know how many rows and columns of marks are in the region. Locate the labels area and then type in the text for each unit. Cardiac, general surgery, and maternity, one per line. Your choice of labels in the form template determines what you see in the data set when your filled in forms are processed. The labels represent the response choices for each bubble, moving from top to bottom. Notice that as you type the labels, numbers automatically fill the values column to the right. While the labels represent the data you will see returned from the processed forms, the values represent the information Remark QuickSets uses to perform any statistical analysis. Click the OK button to return to the main template editor window. You will see a green box around the first column of bubbles in the hospital unit area of the form, identifying it as an OMR region. You can also see that hospital unit is added to the tree view on the left side of the template editor. We can now add the second set of options in the hospital unit question to the first, using the append linked region feature. With the hospital unit node highlighted in the tree view, select the region menu and then click append linked region. Place the cursor just to the top left of the bubble for neurology and then press and hold the left mouse button while dragging the rectangle to the bottom right corner of the region, the bubble for pediatrics, making sure you have captured all three bubbles in the region. After positioning the box, release the mouse button. The Properties OMR window will appear. You will notice that everything is filled in for you based on the previous OMR region, with the exception of the labels. Locate the labels area and then type in the text for each unit. Neurology, Pathology, and Pediatrics, one per line. Your choice of labels in the form template determines what you see in the data set when your filled in forms are processed. Click the OK button to return to the main template editor window. You will see a green box around the second column of bubbles in the hospital unit area of the form, identifying it as an OMR region. You will also see that the two linked regions are outlined with a dashed line to show their linked status. The length of stay in days region is a third OMR region designed to output the number of days the respondent stayed in the hospital. The steps involved in creating this OMR region are similar to those performed for the hospital unit. However, notice that many of the region's properties change to reflect that the area of the form has a single row with five columns instead of two columns with three rows. Highlight hospital unit by clicking its node in the tree view if it isn't already highlighted. Select the region menu, click insert, and then click OMR region after selected region or click the OMR toolbar button. 
You can also select the Insert OMR Region link in the task pane. The cursor will change to a crosshair. Place the cursor just to the top left of the row of marks, representing the length of stay. Then press and hold the left mouse button while dragging the rectangle to the bottom right corner, capturing all of the bubbles in the region. In the Region Definition area, enter Length of Stay in the Region Name box. For OMR type, select Multiple. For the Data type, select Textual. This region contains number of days, but because one of the choices is not numeric, 5 plus, Textual is the correct data type. In the Region Layout area to the right, select Row for Region Orientation. Region Orientation lets the Remark Office OMR know how the region is structured on the form. For this question, the question's answer choices are listed in a row. Columns in the region should be pre-filled to 5, and rows in the region should be pre-filled to 1. If not, please enter these values now. For the labels area, type the number for each length of stay on each of the rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 plus. 1 per line. This label range represents the response choices for each bubble, moving from left to right. Again notice that as you type the labels, numbers automatically fill the values column in the grid. Click the OK button to return to the main template editor window. You will now see a green box around the length of the stay region in the form area, identifying it as an OMR region. You will also see that length of stay is now added to the tree view on the left. The room number region needs to capture all five digits as one piece of information. We use a grid OMR region to define the bubbles on the form. A grid OMR region outputs a single piece of data regardless of the number of rows and columns included in the region. This type of region is used for items such as dates, ID numbers, and social security numbers. The steps involved to create a grid region are the same as the steps you use to create the OMR regions we already created. However, the specific properties of the region will change to reflect the way the region is formatted on the form and the way we want the software to report the data. Highlight the length of stay node in the tree view if it isn't already highlighted. Click the OMR toolbar button to insert an OMR region and then draw the OMR region box around the entire group of bubbles. After positioning the box, release the mouse button and the properties OMR region window will appear. In the region definition area, Enter room number in the region name box. Select grid for the OMR type. Select numeric for the data type. In the region layout area, select column for the region orientation. Each column in this region represents one digit of the room number. In the columns in the region box, ensure that five was entered and in the rows in the region box, ensure that 10 was entered. Enter the appropriate labels in possible responses. For the labels area, click the down arrow for possible label scales and choose a scale 0 to 9 from the list of choices. This range represents the response choices for bubbles in all five columns moving from top to bottom. The numbers fill the labels grid automatically. The labels represent the data that is returned from the processed forms when filled in by the respondent. And the grid region returns all selections 
to make a five digit number. Click the OK button to return to the main template editor window. You will see a green box around the room number region in the form area, identifying it as an OMR region. You will also see that the room number is added to the tree view. There are five questions on the form that ask the patient to evaluate his or her hospital stay. All five questions share the same evaluation scale of strongly agree to strongly disagree, which allows them to share one set of labels on the form. This compact and logical question area can be captured with a single OMR region even though it contains five separate questions. Defining similar questions in one region saves time and effort and is preferable. Highlight the room number node in the tree view if it is not already highlighted. Click the OMR toolbar button to insert an OMR region and the crosshair to draw a box around the entire group of 20 bubbles. This region contains five individual questions and each question has four possible answer choices. When the Properties OMR region box opens, enter Evaluation in the Region Name box. Select Multiple as the OMR type. Select Textual for the data type. This region contains a scale from Strongly Agree to Strongly Disagree, so textual data is appropriate. In the Region Layout area, select a row for the region orientation because each individual question occupies one row of the region. Ensure that 4 was entered in the columns in the region box and 5 in the rows in the region box. In the Possible Label Scales drop-down list, select the Strongly Agree to Strongly Disagree scale. The Labels and Values grids are filled automatically with the appropriate labels and values. In the Task pane, select Question Properties. The next step is to enter the question text and question names for each of the five questions. Question text appears on the reports generated in Remark QuickSats and is useful in exporting to some data formats. Question names can be used to enter individual names for every question within one OMR region. If the question names grid is left blank, the software will use the region name defined on the previous screen and append sequential numbers to the end of the name to differentiate the questions. Individual question names are useful if you are exporting data to an existing file that requires specific field names such as an access table. Enter the question text and question names for each of the five questions. Click the OK button to return to the main template editor window. You will see a green box around the hospital stay evaluation region in the form area, identifying it as an OMR region. You will also see that evaluation is added to the tree view. Areas in which you expect your respondent to use handwriting can be captured by Remark Office OMR as image regions. Image regions offer you three different ways to capture handwriting. One, the software takes a snapshot of the handwriting and stores it on your computer as an image file. Two, the software allows you to enter the handwritten information into your data set using the image assisted data entry. Or three, you can apply qualitative codes that characterize the comments as you read them on screen. For image clips and data entry regions, you can run a respondent report in Remark QuickStats to view the information from the image region. For qualitative codes, 
you can run an item analysis report. In this demonstration, we will be capturing an image clip of the handwriting. Highlight the evaluation note in the tree view if it isn't already highlighted. Then click the image toolbar button to insert an image region. Once the cursor becomes a crosshair, place the cursor at the top left of the area you would expect the respondent to enter their comments. Press and hold the left mouse button while dragging the rectangle to the bottom right corner of the area, making sure you have selected the entire allotted space. After positioning the box, release the mouse button and the Properties Image Region window appears, allowing you to define the region's properties. Enter comments in the region name box. Set the region type to image clip. This type captures each respondent as a small image file for storage on your computer. You can then run a report in Remark Quick Sets to view the comments. At the bottom of the region definition area, mark the setting for attempt to detect the presence of handwriting in this region. By using this feature, Remark Office OMR searches for handwriting in the image region area during form processing. If writing is found, the image clip is captured, and the path to the clipped image file is displayed in the data grid. In the target folder box, click the ellipsis to choose the images folder of your Remark Office OMR installation. Whenever a comment is found, a small image file is captured and stored in this folder. In the Begin Names With box, type Tutorial Comments. When the images are captured, the image names begin with the text Tutorial Comments so that you know that they belong to this form. Set the clip file type and compression to the default settings of TIFF and Group 4. Click the OK button to return to the main template editor window. You will now see the new image region visible as a blue field on your form and that comments is added to the tree view of your form template. We are finished creating all of the regions in our form template and need to save the form template as a file we can use to process completed forms. Select the file menu and then click Save or select the Save link in the task pane. Make note of where you save the form template file. In the file name box, type Tutorial 2 and then click the Save button. You have now created the Tutorial 2 form template. Close the template editor by selecting the file menu and then clicking Exit. You may also simply click the X in the upper right hand corner of the template editor window. Now that you have created the form template for the Hospital Say Evaluation Survey, you are ready to begin processing the completed forms using the supplied image files. If you aren't already running it, start the Remark Office OMR Data Center. When the Data Center opens, it displays a blank, spreadsheet-style data grid. The Data Center offers a task pane on the left containing the most commonly requested actions. Select the File menu and then click Open Template or select the Open Other Templates link in the task pane. You must open a form template in order to process forms. Select the Tutorial2.omr file that we just created and then click the Open button. Alternatively, we have provided a sample file in the Tutorial2 folder. When the Tutorial 2 form template opens, its name appears on the title bar at the top of the screen 
and you see the region names you specified as your column headers in the data grid. Each column in the grid corresponds with one variable or question in the form template, as the column headers indicate. The data grid fills row by row as your completed forms are processed. Each grid row contains information from one processed form, regardless of the number of pages the form contains. The read window is used to process completed forms and produce data. The read window has several steps to help customize the reading process. This tutorial focuses on the basic functions. As mentioned previously, we are reading pre-scanned image files. Select the Tools menu and then click Read, or select the Read link in the task pane. The Read window appears. In the Data Collection Method area, select the button for Read Images. Then click the Next button to continue. The Image Selection window appears to enable you to view and select the images you want to process. Navigate to the Tutorial 2 folder of your Remark Office OMR installation. Navigate to the Images for Processing folder. Select the file called Tutorial 2 Completed Hospital Surveys.tiff by either double clicking it or selecting it and clicking the button for Add Selected Images which moves the file into the Images in Read Order window. Click the Next button to continue. The Review Exceptions window appears. This window allows you to configure options for reviewing exception cases such as blank and multiple responses. We are using this feature in this tutorial. If the Enable Review Exceptions button is selected, click it to deselect this option. We are not reviewing exceptions at this time. Click the Read button to begin reading image files. As each image is processed, a row of data is added to the data grid. After the forms are processed, 20 rows of data are displayed in the data grid. Each row represents the responses collected from one of the forms. You are now ready to inspect the data for missing or unrecognized responses in order to prepare for analysis and or data export. We use an automated tool called Review Exceptions to locate and correct any exceptions in our data. Click the Tools menu and then select Review Exceptions, or click the Review Exceptions link in the task pane. Once you access Review Exceptions, use the task pane to select the exception cases you would like to review. Blank responses, multiple responses, recognition errors, image regions, database lookup regions, barcode regions, OCR regions, repeated rank responses, or required items. You can also choose whether to search by rows or columns in the data grid. Click the Next button at the top of the data grid to start the review process. The data center searches the data for the specified exception cases. When a selected exception case is found, it appears in the data header bar at the top of the data grid. The bar is color coded to match the exception type. Use this window to make changes. You can use a drop down list if applicable or type a response. Note that if there is a list of answer choices defined, as you begin typing, Remark Office OMR will attempt to autofill your answer based on possible answer choices. 
The first piece of flag data is a multiple response in the first grid row for the item called length of stay, which is flagged as green in the data header bar. In the data header bar above the grid, use the drop down list to select the appropriate response. Use the image viewer beneath the data grid to review the respondent's form. It appears that the respondent changed his response from 3 to 4 by crossing out the original mark and filling in a second bubble. We will assume that 4 is the correct response. Select 4 from the drop down list. Click the next button or press enter to move to the next exception. The next exception is a multiple response in row 2 for the item called respect. Look at the image viewer to see the intended response. In this case, it looks like the respondent changed his response from strongly agree to agree. Select agree from the drop down list or type A and watch Remark Office OMR autofill the response. Press the enter key. There are no more exception cases in this data. When prompted, click save changes to the message to save your changes. There are no more exceptions to review in this data set. Your data is now ready to be saved and analyzed. After reviewing the data, you may save it to one of many file formats available for exporting data to other applications. For this tutorial, we will save the data to the Remark Extended format, which is a proprietary format within the software. This format saves the exception colors if there are any present, as well as a link from the data to the stored images so that you can open your data and still view the image that corresponds with any piece of data. Select the file menu and then click Save Data or click the Save Data link in the task pane. Data can be saved anywhere on your system. By default, a data folder is installed in the Remark Office OMR directory. We recommend using this folder for storage of data files. In the look in box, navigate to this data folder on your system. Click the Save As Type down arrow to display a list of file types. If not already selected, click the Remark Extended format. Type Tutorial 2 in the box titled File Name. Click the OK button to save the file. Remark Office OMR provides statistical analysis functionality for tabulating data from your forms. The Quick Survey feature is one such facility and provides you with the choice of standard reports based on your data. Select the Tools menu, then click Analysis, and then click Quick Survey or click the Analysis tab and then select the Quick Survey link in the Task pane. The Remark Quick Sets window will appear. By default, the Condensed Item Analysis report displays. If you are not seeing this report, click the Item Analysis Reports link in the Task pane and then choose Condensed Item Analysis. The Condensed Item Analysis Report shows several statistics for each question, such as Label, Total, and Percent. Each table displays statistics for a separate question in the survey. This simple, straightforward report may be all that you need to communicate your survey's results. Although we will not view every other available report in this tutorial, we suggest that you explore the other available reports 
and experiment with the report options by using the report style pane to adjust the look and feel of the reports. We will take a look at one more report, the response by item report. This will show us the answers to the comments question. In the task pane, select the response reports link and then click response by item. A selection window appears allowing you to choose questions on which to base the report. From the questions list, choose a comments question and move it to the selected questions window so that we can see the responses to our open-ended question. Click the run report button to run the report. Notice that the comments are displayed on screen for all handwritten comments. You can read through them and or export them to another format. The report style pane on the right allows you to choose whether to show or hide the respondent identifier. Our survey is anonymous. Therefore, you may wish to hide the respondent identifier by changing respondent ID to no. Then click the apply button and run the report again. Note that the comments are clearer when they are printed. We will now demonstrate the use of the Report Batch feature, which allows you to display, print, or export multiple reports at one time. Additionally, it allows you to auto-filter data based on one or more questions on your form. We are going to auto-filter the data based on the hospital OCR region. Remark QuickStats provides us with a report for each hospital based on the filter that we set up. In Remark QuickStats, select the Tools menu and then click Report Batches or select Report Batches from the task pane. Mark the checkbox for Filter Reports by and select Hospital. The reports will be created based on the hospital names in our data. Remark QuickSats will sort the data behind the scenes and then report by hospital. Click the Next button to continue. The next window allows you to choose which reports to run. Select the Detailed Item Analysis Report and the Response Report by Item. These reports will provide us with an item analysis for each question and a listing of the open-ended comments. Click the Next button to continue. The next window allows you to print the reports. We will not print the reports in this tutorial. Click the Next button to continue. The next window allows you to display and export reports. Mark the checkbox for display the reports upon completion. Mark the checkbox for export reports as and choose portable document format PDF. Do not mark the checkboxes for merge all selected reports into a single file or save all reports to a single folder. The result will be individual reports for each hospital. Click the ellipsis next to base file name to choose a location and name for your file. Note where you save the file so that you can view it later. Click the finish button to generate the reports. You are asked if you want to save the report batch file for later use. Click no for this tutorial. Saving report batches is useful if you plan to run the same reports repeatedly. The reports begin to generate and you see a progress bar on the screen. The response report by item requires user input. You are prompted to choose a question on which to base this report. When prompted, choose the comments question from the questions window 
and move it to the selected questions window. This report displays all of the handwritten comments from the forms. You are notified when the report batch is finished creating your reports. Navigate on your computer to the folder in which you save the PDF files. You will see folders for each hospital and two reports in each folder. One for the detailed item analysis and one for the response report by item. If you have the Adobe Acrobat Reader, open the reports to gain a better understanding of how the auto filter feature worked. You have completed the Hospital Stay Survey tutorial for Remark Office OMR version 10. This tutorial illustrated the basics of using the software, including creating a form template in which we linked OMR regions, processing forms, using review exceptions to clean the data, saving the data, and tabulating the surveys with Quick Survey, in which we used report batches. If you have any questions about Remark Office OMR, please contact Remark Support.